Those are numbers. Those are fantastic numbers. And that is a fantastic way to get things underway from Smriti Mandana. Beautiful. Yeah, not taking long to get off the mark. Pure quality. A little bit of shape there from the bowler. But up to it. Full weight into the ball, through the ball. Great execution. It's a beauty that. It's just held its line, maybe nipped away down the hill. Pace. Again from Ismail. Around that 76 mile an hour mark. He bounced it to finish. 20 good deliveries from the Oval Invincibles and just 17 runs scored. White goes down the wicket and over extra cover. That is good use of the feet and good timing as well. Yeah, Danny White has given herself an opportunity to get in. And once she's in, well, we know exactly how much damage she can create and she can cause. Look at this. It's a stunning shot. It's one of the hardest shots to play. Down the track, inside out, over extra cover. Gets a short one, finds the gap again. That'll be four more. So back to back for Danny Wyatt. Yeah, just fed into this innings. Just slowly, slowly, slowly came in. And maybe also just thought about the pace of the wicket. How is she going to get in? And start to have a look and see is there swing is there seam is there spin and now capitalize this is the last five balls of the power play so it's about capitalizing swing away and oh tight tight well, i think we'll have to have a look at this i don't know whether that was on the full or not kb four what you four Power hitting from Smithy Mandana, the slog sweep in the power play. So it was only Ishmael that was out. Up in the air, Ishmael gets there. Ishmael takes the catch, diving forward. The Invincibles have their first. Yeah, Danny Wyatt looked like she's beaten for pace. Pulls up at 75 to 78 miles an hour, back of a length, hitting against the slope, which can also cause a bit of danger here at Lords. Balls top edged into the sky, and great athleticism. Mishmael to get over and take that catch herself. Diving forward, making sure that ball's safely in the hands. In the air and gone. Caught and ball, Schmael. And the dangerous Mandana has gone. This is good from the Invincibles. Yeah, there was just a building of pressure, wasn't there? Brave just struggling to find the boundary. Madonna, the in batter felt like she had the responsibility to try and do it. It's actually clever captaincy bring up the offside. Madonna using her feet. Shmuel just drags the ball back in length. Get that! McGrath off the mark. Ishmael will cut that off. Well, she should cut it off as it runs up the hill. He does. A little paddle sweep, that should be two. At least it is. Again, Dunkley trying to get through. They're just having a look at the field here. So mid off, mid on, deep cover and a deep backwards square. So runs on the offside are available, and with a misfield after a good phase of fielding, finally the shackles broken with a boundary. Absolutely, Ebbs. Well needed boundary. Hasn't been a boundary since the 25th ball. Seems like a long time ago. The intent is there, but the bowling has been excellent. Shackles still on though. Run a ball. And she's got another one through. She's exposed that offside. Maddie Villiers has just got a little bit too wide. And another boundary. Well, like London buses, no boundary for a considerable period of time. And two in the space of three balls. Beautiful shot. Just opening up the offside. Piercing it to the short side. Is that in the gap? 
It is well placed by Dunkley. A clear change of gears here for the Southern Brave. Sophia Dim Dunkley moving across her crease and targeting down the slope into the gap and times it beautifully. Nearly, nearly trying to give herself some space, looking to hit it through the offside, gets the inside edge, but either way, they will take that boundary. Yeah, again, looking to target the shorter side this time. Ball just coming down the slope. Grass gets lucky. She'll take that. Again, cheer, clear, change of intent. Yeah! Bold! Bold after a cheeky little four that hit the inside edge. She comes back and strikes. Important moment. It's Tarly McGrath gone. 75 balls done, 83 runs on the board. Yeah! Really good bowling, full and straight. Pars only won 13 here. It is a difficult pitch to hit boundaries yeah! on. Good catch, I think, from Lauren Winfield Hill. It is a good catch. And that means two new batters at the crease. Big, big five balls for the Invincibles. Yeah, wickets change the game. Great catches win matches. This is a fabulous catch. It always is when the keeper's up. Oh, it is. It's magnificent, actually. Oh, yes, and that's exactly why she's as animated as she is. Magnificent brilliance. in the air will that carry to cap it will carry to cap and that's three on the bounce for the invincibles capsi has two in the over and the invincibles are having a blinder it's the pressure of a final it's the pressure of lords three for three so quick Three for 83, four for 84, five for 84. She did it with the ball last year and she's run off the boundary here and she's taken a good catch. Susie Bates has been excellent. She's front loaded her bowling attack, gone all in, got the wickets and now she can go back to Ishmael early. And try and wrap it up, to be honest, and get more wickets. And she does. Great captaincy, great bowling. They are absolutely bossing it at the moment, the Invincibles. Yeah, brilliant all-round game so far. The only thing that they got wrong was the toss. Ever since they lost the toss, it has just been the Oval Invincibles. Haven't they been good? Giving herself a little bit of room, and that may be just a little of apprehension because Ishmael is the fastest bowler in the world, and one of the fastest bowlers in the world. Chip to mid-off, should be taken, it is. It's the skipper, Susie Bates, coming in from extra cover. Excellent fielding again from the Invincibles. A collapse of all collapses, I tell you what. Everything was sitting pretty when we came into the box. <laughs> of the 75 deliveries, they were 83 for two. What has happened here? 94 for seven. Another swipe, swing and a miss. Experienced bowlers too. They all have assessed conditions and they would have understood exactly how to bowl on this wicket. Scoreboard pressure, what can it do? Well, we all know that in big finals, it can do a hell of a lot. Well, we don't think this is enough. Last night, we didn't think at a certain stage that the Southern Brave had enough there either. Will be a single if Shrubsoul gets home. She does. That is a very, very good hundred balls from the Invincibles. Excellent fielding, brilliant bowling, superb captaincy. Half the job done. Half the way through to back-to-back -back wins. We now have to back it up with the bat. Well bold. Well bold. Just a little bit of movement there. Winfield Hills used her feet. 
and got enough of it. First boundary for the Oval Invincibles. A well, lovely shot. Everything coming straight, straight down the ground. Still got to place the ball, and she's placed it perfectly. Use her feet again, and this time gone. Carla Rudd is absolutely delighted, and Anya Shrubsalt picks up the first wicket of the innings. Lauren Winfield Hill's got to go. You got to believe if you're from the Southern Brave. The way to believe is to take wickets. Or the way to back up your belief is to do exactly that. Excellent from the keeper. Look how much it means to her. Well, Alice Capsey is not doing too much thinking. She really plays with freedom. That's what you were talking about. Express yourself, just do your natural thing. You have to, Ebbs. Absolutely no reason why you should be thinking that this is bigger than what it actually pressure, is. Pressure, pressure. Yeah, but pressure, you look at pressure in different ways. You see it as an opportunity or you think, oh, no, 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 don't do this, don't do this. And you have to play your way. You've got to a final because you've played your way. Why should you change? Well, she's not changing. She's got a big top edge and have got away with this one. Anya Shrubsov was swirling, doing a bit of a pirouette, didn't pick up the trajectory of the ball. It's almost landed on her head. Look at this. This is a huge miss. Oh, what a big wicket that would have been. That would have been a monster wicket. Shot, shot in front of square. And it's got enough to beat the deep fielder. So Alice Capsey's having some fun. Yeah, some nice shots. Some very, very good shots. It was there to hit, it was short, it needed to pull the way into the leg side, and it was in front of square. You like that as a batter. If it's short and you can whack it in front of square, it's always fun, and it always makes you feel real, oh, real good. She's well up for it. She is well up for it. Bang, straight down the ground. Six, first six for the Oval Invincibles. Play your way, don't fear the occasion, Ebbs. Give it a go, give it a smack. If it's there to smack, you gotta smack it. You either do it or somebody else is gonna do it for you. Look at that. Oh. Wow, she's almost taken everybody out there. She almost took out the umpire, the bowler, the non-striker, and she has drilled that back down the ground. Four, six, four. The march is on. They're doing it in a hurry. They want to own the power play, and the Oval Invincibles are actually doing that now. Yeah, kids are loving it. 14 runs taken off that last set. Alice Capsey was enjoying herself, striking the ball with freedom. Well, Anya shrubsol has got some work to do here. What a beauty. What a beauty. Yeah, it's a beautiful delivery, really good. And it's the kind of delivery that actually got Winfield Hill. Mm -hmm. Up high, should be taken by mid off and dropped. That's twice she's been put down. You cannot afford to give Capsi a couple of lives. It's Mandana and it's down. Yeah, that's devastating for your team. And the player's striking the ball as well as that, chips it in the air. It's an absolute dolly at mid off. Oh, gone. How unlucky is that? On to the foot from the bat and onto the stumps. They needed something to happen, they've got it. Yeah, is that the change of luck? Helen off the inside edge onto the onto the pad and then back onto the leg stump. Susie Bates didn't have a lot of strike. Yeah! Reverse gone. She went for the reverse sweep. She misses it and the door opens for the Brave. 
Wow, what a huge wicket for the Brave. I saw this with the Invincibles, a small collapse, partnership struggling to build. The Invincibles are falling into that trap. Reverse sweep, just too full. Little paddle, and that will get past shrubs on. I reckon that will run away for four. It does. Yeah, clever batting, knowing that a fine sweep, any bat, get it past the fielder at Lords here, it can generally run away. But extremely fine. Shrubs will need to get the dive out there, knowing that if the ball beat her, she wasn't going to catch it. That will be Bice. It's really dying this pitch. That's three now. That will go away for wides, actually. But that's three in the last six balls that have just rolled. There's not a lot of bounce for Wellington. Gets through. In a low scoring game, you can't afford wides, you can't afford misfields. The Invincibles fielded really well. Brave are going to have to up their standards. They've been poor so far. Yeah, the only way is up in the field for the Brave at the minute. They've... Confidence has just leaked out of them. That's nailed. That is nailed by Cap. Back to back boundaries, three, including the wide. And they needed some momentum, they've got it. 48 from five, 55. Bit of a disaster over that, isn't it, when you created so much pressure over the few sets in a row. To bowl four wides and then release with a couple of boundaries and miss field three points and then a great shot down the ground. Oh, that's the length. Bring the stumps into play. They continue to take wickets. Still game on here. Yeah, I'm delighted with that. She found her line and length as the set went on. Moving the ball down the slope, that is classic Lauren Bell dismissal, nipping back through the gate, bringing the top of off into play. Oh, it's just missed leg. A little off cutter, I think, maybe from Tali McGrath. Absolutely. Stuart Broad mentioning Lords is a really good place to bowl, keep yourself in the game. Hint of movement in, really good bowling. Brave skipper back, and your shrub salt. Oh, that's two leg side and nicely played. Marazan Cup picks up a boundary. Yeah, welcome boundary. Cup's third of her innings, just helping it down to fine leg. Oh, races away down the slope. Four more taken off. Oh my goodness. That one has bounced over top of leg stump and gone away for four buys. Wow. Well, it's an absolute beauty. Everyone left confused. Rudd can do nothing. Another wobble scene. Oh. So close. You always feel in the game here at Lords defending a total. It's always a little bit on offer for the bowling side. Gets that away, got some width and put it away nicely, did Murray's Cup. Picks up a boundary. The third four of the over, even though one of them was four buys and was 35 balls remaining, 25 runs needed. Gone, little inside edge, back out of the stumps, Wellington strikes. And the Southern Braves still believe. Game on here at Lords. She's been outstanding throughout the whole of the tournament. One of the leading wicket takers this season. Gets a little bit lucky with a leave. She's used her feet. Has she done it? She has broken the shackles. What a shot to keep things moving for the Oval Invincibles. Yeah, one of the most important boundaries in her career in a final at Lord. She hasn't batted in the tournament. Cap is talking her through every single delivery. 
Yeah, good use of speed. That was a brave, bold move there. She was under pressure, ball spinning, slip in play. Kathy is happy. But look at her. This is the intensity that Kat brings. Bit of movement, what a ball. That's a serious delivery. That is a serious delivery. Sort of delivery that did for Villiers, really. Down the slope with the swing. Perfect length. Yeah, look at the seam position on that. Yeah, not only came down, jagged off the surface, cut her in half. Nearly missed. Nearly. Width, 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 and it's a boundary. You can just hear the noise from the crowd. And the dugout gets excited. Well, there are some cricketers you want to go into battle with. There are some cricketers you want on your side. Marizan Cap is one of those. Absorbs pressure. And when she needs to pounce, she does. And now has a chance to win the final for the Oval Invincible Women. Twice. They won the inaugural in 2021 and now 2022 champions. Marizan Cap has featured as a key superstar and held things together. She calmed the nerves and now has allowed this side to do the double. Incredible moment.